When the green flag dropped on Sunday's Daytona 500, the multi-billion dollar business that is NASCAR never looked better. A new $2.4 billion television contract, increased attendance, and with the biggest hemi-headed engine under the hood, the NASDAQ-traded International Speedway Corporation, owners of the Daytona track and owning or operating 10 others, in fiscal overdrive. Right now the company it has a market capitalization of over $2 billion, so it's grown quite a bit since we had our stock offering back in 1996. Revenues last year were a little over $440 million. With two new tracks opening this season, one in Chicago and the other in Kansas City, ISC success was seen as drafting other NASCAR dependent companies right along behind it until the best of times turned into the worst of times. Turn four on the final lap of Sunday's race. In a benign for NASCAR looking accident, Dale Earnhardt was killed instantly when his car hit the wall on Sunday. Earnhardt, considered by most to be the sport's biggest star, was responsible for tens of millions in earnings, not only for himself, but for the 52-year-old racing circuit as well. It is a sport built in large measure on fan loyalty to individual drivers, and no one had more than Earnhardt. In the eyes of Wall Street, there will be a short-term impact on public sector NASCAR-related offerings. We were um, a bit concerned going into it, and then this adds to our list of concerns, but we believe long-term this is an industry that has more growth and, and will continue to grow. But even Tuesday's Bank of America securities downgrade from a strong buy to a buy of big board traded Speedway Motorsports is seen as short-term. Dale Earnhardt was the sport's biggest star, but not its only one. Drivers like Dale Earnhardt and Richard Petty do leave the sport, whether it's through tragedy as with Dale Earnhardt or whether through retirement with a Richard Petty, but you have younger drivers coming up that are very charismatic, very popular with fans and very popular with advertisers. Much of NASCAR's strength going forward is built on the expansion of its fan base beyond its traditional southeastern core. Longtime fans of the sport are the hardest hit, but the most understanding of what happened to Earnhardt on Sunday. How much the anticipated new fans react to the reality of racing is still an open question. What is not is that NASCAR racing continues on Sunday in North Carolina. Dale Earnhardt's 